Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the first of the month which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, see the first set I made and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is kind of like a holiday around here. Sheet load of cards day. Now, if you're new to my channel, or new to sheet load of cards. What this is, is a free printable that I put out each month for subscribers to my channel, where I give you a new sketch and supply and cutting guides to make the most of your supplies and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between six and 12 cards, depending upon the sketch, size of card, and the size of the paper we'll be using. This is a great way for building up your own card stash or is making for gifts for friends or family. On the first of the month, which is today, I always show you the new sketch, the set I made, and tell you how to download the free printable. Tomorrow on the second, I will be back to share with you the process of how I made my first set, and my team of collaborators will be joining me with their takes on this month's printable. Their links are in that description box below. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to them here on YouTube or follow them on Instagram, you'll be all set for tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the new printable. The June 2022 sheet load of cards is another special edition and this month we have a fun fold card. I dubbed this edition the double card fun fold, but you might also know it as a joy fold card. It is a pretty common fun fold for card making. Now, if you follow my sketch, my supply list, and the cutting guides, you're going to yield six cards this month from just three pieces of pattern paper and five pieces of cardstock. Now, as always, if you don't need to make a whole sheet load of cards, I do give you the single dimensions for one card. Like this would be great if you have some scraps that you just need to use up. So on page one is a look at the sketch where I've labeled each of the pieces and they coordinate with those single dimensions over here on the right. Now I also like to include alternatives or other ways that you can use a sketch and I have listed some of these down here. Like you'll notice today, instead of me stamping on the little sentiment banner here, I will actually be using a die cut word for my sentiment. Down at the bottom, you will want to note how these two cards go together so you end up with your final card. But again, tomorrow I'll be back to show you how I did this and give you a couple tips along the way. Now, if you're inspired to create your own sheet load of cards, up at the top, as always, I have a couple hashtags that I would love for you to use. Whether you make a video here, post a card over on Instagram, or even if you share on TikTok. I like to search for those throughout the month and see what you're creating. On page two of the printable are the cutting guides. So you'll see here how to cut each piece of your pattern paper. This month, we do have a quite a bit of leftover. You could use this as decoration on the inside of the card, or as you'll see me do, I'm gonna be using this for die cutting some of my sentiments. You'll see how to cut each sheet of CS1 and CS2, which will end up being those two card bases that go together. And on CS1, you'll actually have room for your fishtail banner. A couple other things to note on page two is my Instagram account. And I will also have my TikTok account linked in the description box below. I would love for you to follow me on those two sites if you are there. Also, I would like to give a great big shout out to my channel members. Your support each month helps me keep creating here on YouTube and keep sheet load free for all. 
If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Before I show you the first set, let's talk about the main supplies I use for this month's cards. As I mentioned before, for my sentiment, I used a die cut word, and I used this Hello die from Stamp Anything. It was nice and large on the card front, and let me show you a little trick. To decide if this would be a good fit, I held it right up to my printable and I did like the size of the die cut with the rest of the card. As long as you print your PDF at 100%, this is to scale. So if you ever have questions about will my sentiment fit on this fishtail, you know, or how big should my border be on each of those pieces, you can use this to help you. For my card bases, I got out five pieces of off-white cardstock. This isn't quite white and it isn't quite ivory, but I like the way that it went with my papers. Speaking of papers, here's a look at the three pieces I used for my cards this month. All three of these are from the Graphic 45's Ephemera Queen collection. I loved the big bold florals on this pattern and then I chose a couple more subtle patterns but that went with the same colors in this. Now I usually try to pick patterns from the same collection just so I know that the colors will go together nicely. But you can definitely mix and match if that's your thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first set I made. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first set of cards using the June 2022 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now I'll tell you how you can download the free printable for yourself. As always, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. It's free, it's quick, it's easy to do. Just click on that subscribe button right below this video. I don't make you email me with any proof or sign up for a mailing list. We just go on the honor system here. Here in just a second, I'll tell you where you can find this month's link, but what you'll do is you'll just click on it, it opens up a new screen, and you can either just use it from that screen, just right online, or you can download it to your device and print it out to use like I do. This month's link is down in the description box right below my TikTok link. Underneath it, it will read to watch until the end of the video for a password, but don't worry, you watching this far is the password. I hope that you have lots of fun with the new sheet load, and don't forget to come back tomorrow to see the process and what my team has created. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above, and if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.